Hey guys, B8KD here. In today's video, we are going to be maximizing DPS. Um, we are going to go over all of the combinations when rigging, using your nano core, along with your implant mods, uh, for missiles at least, on how to maximize your DPS. Some of this stuff is kind of uh, already known to the community, so for new players this might help, and uh, maybe some veterans um, trying to get the highest DPS possible. Um, we're going to compare uh, C-type to B-type missiles and see what kind of damage increase it can give. I'm not going to go too crazy, I'm going to go over things that are accessible to the community, not X-type missiles and stuff. Um, but we're going to do this all on a Orthrus Cruiser and see what our DPS will change to once we put a tier 3 to a tier 4 rig and such. So first off, let's look at our Orthrus. Let's put another C-type missile on. Now this is all with 554 skills. I am going to train to 555 in just a moment and we'll see what kind of DPS increase it will get. Now we are at 598 DPS. Now when we go in here, we have um, not all the rigs we need, so I'm gonna get some more of those in just a second. But let's go ahead and do two damage and one accelerator. So that's the Warhead uh, Califaction, the damage, and a Bayloading Accelerator. Just one second. All right, I got them equipped. So I have two damage bonus and one activation time. Now our DPS is sitting at 814 damage per second. So let's do the traditional two activation time and one damage. Let's see how much it goes up by. So 814 to another bay loading accelerator. So that goes up almost 34 DPS. So that is the best uh, tier three rig combo if you don't want to do any integration. Um, let's go ahead and um, check out our nano core. So let's say you want to get a standard nano core. Most of them, like the blue ones, they'll have like 14 to 18% damage in this um, scenario I'm going to use a Orthrus clear stock sky here now this is going to give us the 18% damage right off the bat I already have that fit and ready so we go all the way up to 926 damage per second but let's look at our nano core now and there are no active um, modifiers here for extra DPS until you get down to this third row on this one. But let's say um, we want the missile damage there. Let's see what the five to 9% does on top of this 18%. Let's see if it's actually worth leveling our nano core all the way down to here just to get that added bonus. So I will be right back after leveling it up. All right, here we go. We got a 6.97%. That's uh, pretty common. I don't expect many people to get um, either lower or higher. It's just kind of random. I know you're not going to get the gold stat for this one unless you are an absolute whale. But let's see what 7% DPS does to our thing. So it doesn't give you too much. It goes up to 957 so you can kind of debate if that's actually worth it or if there's another stat on the nano core like flight velocity or something you can benefit more from flight velocity might give a little bit better uh, stats than actually the seven percent damage unless you're trying to maximize your damage as much much as possible but with the nano core and the rigs out of the way let's start um, upgrading things slowly so first off, we are going to go from a activation time 3 to an activation time 4. Now let's see how much the DPS increase. So that's actually quite a bit, just for a single rig. 
Um, it goes up to 985 damage per second, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll definitely uh, take that. Let's go for a V4 damage there. So, um, you definitely get less DPS when you uh, swap a Bay Loading for a Tier 4, a Tier 3 Bay Loading for a Tier 4 damage. So you definitely want to do this Rig Combo, two, um, two Bay Loadings and one Calefaction, but let's go to the Bay Loading again. This makes your missiles shoot faster, not harder all the way up to 1010 DPS and last but not least our tier 4 damage okay um, that actually didn't improve it by that much at all 1021 let's just put the old one back on oh I don't have yep yeah I'm not sure if that would be worth it doing a tier 3 to a tier 4 the uh, the bay loadings are definitely um, giving a big DPS boost but honestly not by that much so let's go back let's put our bay loading 4 on let's just try all bay loadings a thousand and fourteen hmm So when we take all the bay loadings off, 1021. So this is probably the best rig combo um, for the most DPS. We are going to do integrated rigs. We are not going to integrate tier 4 rigs because that is absolutely absurd unless you have just an insane amount of money there. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll change these to B types once we start getting... Uh, kind of maxed out we'll see what the DPS difference goes from uh, C to B um, but let's go to our integration module now I'm not gonna go with the absolutely crazy priced one you can kinda just assume what you can get out of it so the two I have are the 60 percent and the 70 percent we'll see what the DPS difference is between just that 10 percent just doing tier 3 bay loading and califactions so once we go to integrate this I'm not gonna make you watch it but we'll do damage bonus activation time and I'm gonna set up I'm gonna do one at a time and see what the DPS difference is between all one to all three slots so I'll be right back Okay, let's remember 1,021 damage per second. I'm going to go ahead and change a bay loading with one of these. Well, actually, let's, let's go back and put... Accelerator... Because we are not going to have all tier 4 rigs on there. So that is our damage and activation time. So this is our 60% with that added on there. We get a substantially less DPS, 951. So let's, uh, let's try another rig integration. 924. So it's actually going down. And let's do our last one here. Nine thirty six. So it's actually not as good to integrate tier three sixty P rigs because your DPS will go down. So that's definitely good to know before you start integrating your stuff. Um, Let's go ahead and try the next module up and see if that 10% difference is going to give us better DPS. Alright, so I actually changed my mind. I do have the uh, 2P80s there because some people probably do have these. And we're going to see if we can get the DPS up a little bit. 80% of the rigs might be better than 60 and 70, but first off, that is the 70P. 
let's just see, 956, okay, 70p, 974. Okay, so it's getting up there. Um, 986. So let's just go back and re equip these really quick. So 986. 996. So the 70% um, are going to give you a slight DPS boost, um, about 40 DPS, 30, 40 DPS there. Um, the P60s do not give you a DPS boost doing all integrated ones. So be wary before doing your integrations. Um, that will not uh, boost it. So now let's go for our P80s. These are the ones that will remain on the ship. Okay, 1,038 DPS. So you get a decent boost, about 40 to 50 DPS um, from the last ones. Um, so the P80s is going to min-max your DPS, doing integrated... Um, tier three is there so that is a very expensive module but um, it does increase your dps so that's the lifelong question on these i know it does change based on like what kind of uh, weaponry you're using and stuff but this is a good baseline just having missiles and all around dps so next up we are going to go and equip b-type missiles i'll be right back now, we got all B-type missiles equipped. Um, so the DPS difference went up to 1,091. So you can make that judgment if that is uh, necessary or not, doing a little bit more expensive uh, weaponry. Um, I would expect the DPS to go up about the same for A and X-type, but you imagine once you get to X, you are gonna have about 1200 DPS. So that will be worth it, but at a price. Um, so that's that. Next up, we are going to go into our skills. We are 554. We are going to go to 555 in our missiles. Expert missile, you're gonna see uh, damage only 2% there. And activation time on the ballistic control goes up to uh, an extra second. We don't have any ballistic controls on there. So let's go ahead and train that. Now our DPS went up ever so slightly. Went up to 1100 DPS. So is that um, 3.5 million skill investment worth that extra little bit of DPS? Maybe it is because if you are a fully missiled out account and you put a ballistic control on, you are going to benefit substantially from that. So let's go in and get our last 555 missile skill. Let's just boost that. 4.6 million uh, skill points for a 2%. Uh, boost is it worth it maybe maybe not so 1110 so ever so slightly it was going up there um, so you can kind of make the decision if it's worth going from 554 to 555 but you are going to get more dps um, next up we are going to mess around with the implant let's go ahead and just look at the one i have now, all of these implants do different things, but in this scenario, I'm going to look at the EM uh, warhead here, or the explosion. It doesn't really matter because it increases your DPS the same. Um, so let's go ahead and do development, and I'm going to train this up to this. 
Um, this is going to give you, I think, a 30% DPS boost up to 390%. So if your nano core has extra EM damage on it, I think it might boost even further than that. But I'll be right back. All right, so in this scenario, I have my EM um, unlock there. If we go ahead and... Uh, it doesn't say how much bonus I'm getting, 330% maybe, but I have EM unlocked and it is going to increase our DPS to 1093 with 100% EM damage. So potentially stacking a core that gives you additional EM or explosive damage will be beneficial to you, but you'll see how much that implant gives. Um, Let's see if I can get the compilers on there or not, and we'll see what a ballistic control system can do for this ship. All right, so we have a few ballistic control systems here. Um, we are going to try all of these, and we're going to do our testing on the C-type. But if you see here, our Republic fleet goes from 1100 to 1200. We got a C-type. From 1200 to 1213 and then a B type 1213 to 1227 I'm not going to go past B type but you can kind of see the passive boost is definitely uh, worth it for the better uh, ballistic control system of course if you keep going up the more DPS you're going to get but we're going to do a baseline of the C type there 1213 so um, we are going to look at implants or the general units for the implants. So once we go in here, we are going to just check the passive boost of this one, the damage boost effect, a tier one. We go all the way to, oh, did I put the wrong one in? Okay, the general unit may or may not be working. We might not be able to try this. Let's try this. 12, 13, darn, I don't think it's working. That's uh, what I wanted to try out. I know you get a passive boost from it. That's a bummer. Let's go ahead and undock and just pop our ballistic control system to see what kind of uh, DPS we get off just one. Undocking. And we will pop this. Get a DPS all the way up to 1500. Let's see if we can get it to EM really quick. Sixteen twenty-eight, so it is a pretty big uh, DPS boost. I'm going to unequip those general units and see if they're working or not, and see if that was the maximum DPS so far. All right, thirteen ninety-one with our ballistic active and none of the general units. And let's turn that on. 1495 so the activation time general unit is making the DPS absolutely massive on this it goes up by almost a hundred and something DPS so the activation time general unit is hundred percent worth it in my opinion it re it makes the uh, reactivation delay on this go up I'm pretty sure but the activation time boost is huge I'm not sure if I would pair them um, 
You could pair it with both general units, but you'll have a shorter activation time on this and a reactivation delay. That's pretty heavy. Um, yeah. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully this showed you um, how to fit your ship properly and if those investments were worth making for that added DPS. I know I've had a lot of questions about rig integration in the past and it seems like the 70Ps are almost not worth it. Uh, maybe on different ships with larger guns. Um, I could try a video like that in the future. So if you have any ideas you can leave it in the comments and potentially I can try it out someday. Um, but we are on EM, we have two ballistic and our implants in and we get all the way up to 2173 DPS. Um, so that's pretty darn big DPS for an Orthrus and we are coming in at, um, let's see. 26 second activation time with that kind of DPS. You could really nuke someone down. Um, but that's really all the different combinations I have. Let me know what you thought about the video. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.